Lebanon seems to have officially entered a black hole, as if its fall has become fate. Those who are pushing for a faster collapse are none other than those who stipulate removing Hezbollah from the entire political scene or else behold the great collapse. The U.S.-led war against the Lebanese resistance with deadlier tools than those utilized in Afghanistan 2001, Iraq 2003 and Lebanon 2006 continues according to one main theory. Let the country collapse until we rebuild it without Hezbollah. A theory which Riyadh's Mohammed bin Salman completely supports despite the decline of his current position in the region's politics. However, he is always ready to interact whenever the opportunity arises, being the main financial guarantor for crafting disorder in the region. Until then, Work will be resumed to complete the scattering of chaos in Lebanon through activating the dubious activities of NGOs, imposing new sanctions on Lebanese political figures, and pushing for instability in the country's national security, which makes the internal arena open to any possibility. What makes the current situation worrisome is that Israel today is present in every Arab country except the very few like Lebanon, meaning that the latter will not be allowed to deviate from this path and might be even forced to join the bandwagon of normalization. There is no longer any ambiguity that the corruption of the ruling elite and the absence of any serious effort to find a solution to the imminent collapse are helping the foreign powers push Lebanon towards this end goal. Economic observers view the country headed towards painful times in light of the downfall scenario that threatens all institutions which are no longer able to contain their dangerous repercussions. In parallel, Washington is activating its policy to destroy Lebanon in cooperation with local actors entrusted with the task, in addition to a set of basic pillars for its project run by the U.S. administration from abroad and the U.S. Embassy in Beirut. The fruits of this chaotic labor have begun to appear at the level of both top-held positions in public institutions and entry-level ones in everyday-born, multi-million-dollar NGOs in the country. Welcome to the Mideast Stream, I'm Marwa Osman.